the end of Jojo Su Siwa. So I'm sure some people watching this video will be aware of who Jojo Siwa is. She Siwa. has been around for quite some time now. I don't know her this career just is. recently getting to that decade milestone. I've never known much oh, about decade? her. Besides the fact that she went viral for dancing like a maniac, she became rich from selling hair bows to kids, and I do remember she used to act absolutely insane in her videos. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, you guys, today! Oh my gosh, she's one of those YouTubers. She said the whole introduction, everything. She's one of those 2000s, you know, YouTubers. Can't I can't hate, but at the same time, I can't stand them. Have a dope YouTuber intro, but don't just talk fast. I know you're just trying to get that over with, but have a dope one. Company. And kids used to love JoJo back in the day. She was dominating she YouTube is. with massive collabs and huge numbers. Security oh. and arrested development from not getting a true childhood would later on completely mess up his life. And for JoJo, obviously, she would eventually go viral with children, and she would even sign a deal with Nickelodeon to appear on some of their shows. You're being so weird. What? I am? Are you, like, going through puberty? What? Ew! No! This is a very similar story that we've seen with a lot of child actors and other people in the entertainment industry. She was everywhere back then dominating the kids' market. She had various products, and she was raking okay, in millions winning. of dollars on she's her winning. dance tours. Mansion, she At this point, mansion. she also had a ton of songs with tens million, of millions like, of views level. that no one Mr. over the age level. of six has ever heard. But nonetheless, she was very successful. This would continue on Can't for hate. years, Respect. and eventually she would lean Respect more into singing career. with her group, and she was even a judge on the show, so you... Oh, this is her now, guy, Lee. She got a square face hair and all that, change of hair. Yeah, I respect, I can't hate, respect the grind, I respect that. I can't believe she was on Dance Mom. Dance Mom's the most toxic, caring uh, group. It was like a ballerina uh, group. It was a show, Dance Mom was funny. Like, she, bro, she would disrespect the hell out of them. That, I'm sorry. That was a popular show back in the early 2000s, though. Think you can dance. So on the outside, I'm sure she felt very successful, but I could also see how she could be one of those people who would have a hard time with their identity growing up because she was stuck in the persona of a child as her job for such a long time. Above this, she was constantly surrounded by influencer adults oh, and so not persona. great role models. Two of her best friends were creepy Shane Dawson, who looks like he smells like Subway, and of course that weird clown caricature of a woman who was sending her kid fans her panties. She would also spend quite a bit- Wait, that's that weird one? That's- Oh, yeah, that's the one that played that girl, that- that uh, uh, James Charles. Time with James yeah. Charles. So she was Ugly. pretty much out here assembling the Avengers of Ugly. creepy adults Ugly. as people to look up to. Either way, Ugly. JoJo has slowly been trying to change her identity from kid-friendly internet star to so icon, dope. I guess. Because based on her new music video, that definitely looks to be the case. And I have to tell you guys just right off the bat, what you are about to witness is an absolute masterclass. And I'm gonna have to, uh, I have to mute this so it'll work. Happy, right, you know? in how not to rebrand your career from child star to adult. I mean, this is what JoJo herself had to say about this attempt to rebrand her entire life. No Sorry, one has made this dramatic of a change yet. No one has made, in my generation, this Oh, she's grown, all grown up now. Her voice is matured and everything, okay. But yeah, you can't rebrand a family, a friend-friendly content to adult you know mature i don't know that's now nah, that's gonna be hard to do very hard to do which i just said nah uh, yeah that, that's definitely hard so I, I feel like you really need to know what you're you know what you're gonna actually do you're gonna make a kid family forever or you're gonna make it adult you know maturity so. extreme of a switch and i am the first in the generation it is very scary True. but True. Someone's gotta do it. So JoJo is talking as though she's some sort of pioneer. She's saying that no one's ever made a change like me, and no one's ever done it Straight so hearted. extreme. 
And this is actually the change that she's talking about, guys. Where she's gonna go from this girl who looks to be like in her mid-teens, but she is still out here portraying herself to be, and straight up dressing like she's seven years old. And she's gonna go from this to this, where to me she looks like a knockoff Mm -hmm. Gene Simmons. I mean, don't get me wrong, I know she's trying to be like, sexy with this outfit or maybe different but she's really Mm -hmm. just giving me the same energy as those weird kids who would wear a tail back in the day to school have it hanging out the back of their pants like what the are you doing i just really think that everything she's trying to do here is simply not working and so this change in rebrand is going to come with a new style of music music and so along with that that weird outfit she was wearing jojo siwa would then present her newest song karma Oh, okay, okay, this is the one. This is the one. I gotta, I gotta meet this. Let me meet it right here. Okay. Karma. All right, I whatever the fuck it's called. These outfits are either giving me that energy or they remind me a little bit of like a shark boy and lava girl well, lava type girl. thing. So they're on that this island, they're kissing. Man, we ain't. Come on now. We're on somewhere. Girls. So they're all looking around. You guys have noticed this by now, but I'm not a lesbian. But I will say, there is nothing sexy about this to me. First of all, she no, has no shit, lips. Ugly. And almost ugly. looks like Jay Leno's grandson is going in for the kill. Hey, I better chill out though, because the last guy to talk bad about Jojo Siwa... Nigga, you a bitch, Jojo Siwa, bitch. Well, he fell off pretty fast. And so the rest oh, of this video is just kind of them dancing around. Yeah, I ain't trying to see that. I she's ain't coming out of that water that. like that. She looks like, like fucking Pennywise the clown right there. And these... She's ugly. This couple of frames no, have to be uglier. the funniest attempt to try and be sexual I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> Yo, her crawling up. We've seen Justin Bieber do the same thing, but Jesus Christ. For JoJo, Jesus Christ. it ain't working. And it's funny it that she claims she's so different and she's so unique, but she goes perfectly with this video from the early 2000s. Dream guest on my podcast? Oh my gosh. I mean, honestly, let's spice things up. One of my exes. Nah, she should have. She, man, why she cut her hair for her? Oh. Now, if that voice right there could not be the next Bart Simpson, I don't know who's the right person for the job. You've already named your children? Bully. Bully. <laughs> really? I, have, I actually have two tattoos dedicated to them. Um, this one's dedicated to my baby girl one day. Her name is uh, Freddie. Then this is dedicated twin boys, Freddy. Eddie and Teddy. Um, <laughs> Freddy, Eddie, and Teddy. Freddy, Eddie, and Teddy. What you want to? What you want to name your kid, your daughter, Freddy? Ain't, she, ain't nobody gonna be named like that. Ain't nobody gonna be named that. That's crazy. I have three babies. I have my sperm donor lined up. Um, he... Wait, where? Oh yeah. Okay. We gonna pretend that we didn't hear it. Hear that. You already got it lined up. Is this for a a friend? I will tell. I'll tell. I'll tell you. I make great kids. I mean, Um, (laughs) yes. Is he here today? Maybe. (laughs) I um. I um. I I mean, she is making me cringe on a whole nother level. And those tattoos she has were absolute trash. Those look like those tattoos that someone would go and get on like Friday the thirteenth for thirteen dollars. In anticipation for this music video, she would actually go out and get her car wrapped. Yeah, we definitely are making the wrong people famous here. Someone would later notice her very recognizable vehicle cutting them off in public. She's ugly as fuck, I ain't gonna lie. I would not even... Uh, she's ugly. <laughs> it's gotta she's be just about ugly. the ugliest car I've ever seen. The and she's shit. still out here with creep number one and creep number two. I mean, obviously James after Charles? seeing all the stuff with the Quiet on the Set documentary, and everything that has come to light with these people who are, you know, child stars or kind of bred to be. Yeah, that's the, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nope. Uh, I never, ever, ever known about this person. 
برای 